Good morning, Valder. Good morning. Hi, who do I have in the studio with me? This is Dr. Blackburn. Dr. Blackburn, thank you so very much. This is a, a healthy month. I've got a healthy initiative going, hashtag VBS Takeover Life, and people are just going on there looking for information. What can you add to that health conversation for me? Okay, Valder, well, I think one of the things that we can certainly add in here is the benefits of exercise. Uh, exercise is fantastic uh, for helping to control weight, reducing the risk of diabetes. Uh, but the big thing we want to focus in on this month is that it reduces the risk of heart disease, developing heart disease. And if you have heart disease, it reduces the risk of death from heart disease. I love that you're saying this. Uh, I'm leading a walk at my church, and I'm starting at my church because it's my place of worship. Great. But, you know, I'm walking a mile, and I'm, I'm walking 1.2 miles after church, and, and it took me a while to get up to 1.2 miles. Can they start off with walking? Yep. Uh, everybody starts at their own personal place. Uh, so somebody who has not done any exercise, if they're interested in walking, walking can be fantastic. Uh, if they have a bicycle, they prefer to ride a bicycle, uh, cycling can be fantastic. So oh, any yeah. activity that gets you moving is good. I know. I'm a walker and a cycler. You know, fantastic. I, I, I up the game here. Doctor, let me ask you, as we know, and I want to make this statement for my audience, check with your doctor before you change your lifestyle. That's your first thing. When uh, patients have been through some type of heart uh, uh, process, whether the doctor says, well, you know, this is happening or you have been here, how do they take this seriously? Because sometimes I see people get over a heart attack and then they try to go back to a normal life. But I think it's something you have to ease back into. Right. Well, you know, I think you bring up several interesting points here, Valder. Uh, the one thing is that uh, a lot of people think that the bypass surgery or the uh, stent that's put in if they've had a procedure uh, is a cure for the heart disease. It's really just a treatment for the heart disease. And it's the risk factors uh, like getting going with exercise, watching your weight, watching your diabetes, uh, getting your cholesterol under control. Uh, these are the things that are really important uh, to reduce your risk for future problems. So a lot of times we think we're over with the heart disease, uh, but really it's a wake-up call and we can start changing our lifestyle and having a significant impact on the future. Doctor, just as a layperson, I'm noticing you as our doctors, you guys are speaking different. You're speaking integrative medicine to me, meaning you're telling me, and you've probably been saying this all along, but you're now saying, okay, I need you to eat right. I need you to exercise. One doctor told me I need you to even love more <laughs> so you can get well. Well, uh, we making love is a physical medicine? activity, Velder, so uh, it is beneficial. <laughs> oh, I took that part. That was a great part of the prescription. So are we, are we in a new revolution of medicine here? Where I know, one, the patient has more responsibility. Now you guys are telling us different things along with taking the medication. Yeah. I don't know that we're in a different part of medicine. I mean, we've known since the 1950s the benefits of exercise on heart disease. Uh, I think it's just a different uh, uh, packaging uh, at this point in time uh, that the patient, you're right, the patient has to become an active participant uh, in their health care. Uh, and there's so much that they can do. Well, only about 10% of heart disease is genetic, genetically related. Uh, a lot of our lifestyle, uh, 80 to 90 percent, is, is really what controls our future. You didn't say anything about diet. You want us to exercise. What about our diet? What about fast food? What about all the junk we're eating? Yeah. Uh, well, certainly across the board, uh, we're, we're focusing in on healthier eating. Uh, obesity is a significant issue uh, in North America. Diabetes is a significant issue. Uh, but exercise uh, helps with weight management, helps control diabetes. Uh, so we're really looking at a total package, uh, exercise uh, and medications, and uh, keeping our weight under control. Okay, before I let you go, and I know you don't have a crystal ball, but what do you see for medicine in your field 10 years from now? Oh, uh, Valder, if I knew that, uh, we wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation. Uh, but I think uh, we're, we're seeing new breakthroughs all the time. Uh, the, uh, the strategies that we have uh, for treating heart disease are getting better, uh, but we keep coming back to the basics. Uh, it's lifestyle, it's the exercise, uh, it's the diet, it's controlling our weight. Uh, these are the important things that we need to continue to focus in on. Doctor, tell me, what do you do in your everyday life so my, my audience can be as amazed as I am? Uh, you know, I think you know, what I do is, is what's important to me uh, and what anybody else wants to do, it, it's got to be significant to them. 
Uh, I have several different things that I do. Uh, I, I referee soccer, I play ice hockey, I play tennis, uh, I cycle, uh, but that's what I like to do. And the important thing is that uh, the, uh, your listeners, uh, your viewers get out there and do what they like to do. And is it just do something? That's it. Uh, getting off that couch and doing something gives you benefit and you build on that success going forward. Dr. I want to thank you for being my guest. Where would you send my audience on the web so they could find more information? Certainly, Valder. If they're looking for more information, I'm going to recommend that they go to clevelandclinic.org slash loveyourheart. I love my heart and I love yours because you're a great doctor. Thank you for joining us on the Valder BB Show. Thank you, Valder.